morning. My name is Ruth Gilbert and I have a short story. It's not amusing, but it was very important about Fifth City. So I was in Fifth City from 1976 to 1980 and my assignment was to help transition the Fifth City preschool leadership from um, the volunteers that had been there who were white suburban western women to leadership from within Fifth City. And that included Ruth Carter who grew up in the south and picked cotton until she was seven and then was part of the great migration that went on for 50 years of African Americans traveling from the south to the northern cities. So she came to uh, Chicago. Um, she, her children got engaged in this city preschool and she became a volunteer and then she was encouraged to go back to school and get education so she went and got her high school diploma then she went back again and got her college degree so she went through a lot to get that and there were other women in the community who were also on that track of getting education so they could take on leadership so I needed to work with a director, a finance person who could manage all of that, a grant administrator, and a curriculum person. Four women from this city who could do preschool on into the future. So at that time, my daughter was about three, and so she participated in the Fifth City Preschool. This is a picture I'm going to give her to pass on. She had a good time. So um, the four years was about learning. What are the skills? What are the decisions that you have to make? Getting them to work as a team together. And I think the piece that for me um, made me clear how far they had come, the hardest thing for them to do was decide to fire somebody. Everybody had worked so hard to get a job, and jobs were very valuable, that even if somebody was really not quite up to snuff in one arena or another, the leadership team would have a hard time deciding to give them the boot. So we found other ways to work around and try and improve or whatever. But it was a very rich time and a great celebration at the end of 1980, when they all were doing the work. Um, and it's true that now in 2017 the preschool is still there being led by people. I know they're having trouble competing with um, uh, government run preschools which are free. You have to pay to participate in this school. So that I know they're continuing to work on finances but it's a great long legacy that has taken place in this city preschool as both the cr teachers and the curriculum and all the administration has gotten into the hands of local people.